Gangs in Hawaii. Good evening. I'm Lisa Kubota. Do you think that Hawaii has a street gang problem? Well, you might be surprised at how many gangs law enforcement officers recently identified across the state. Hawaii News Now's Mina Sugimoto joins us with tonight's special report. Mina. Well, Lisa, one agency working with youth gang members says its efforts have helped to reduce violent gang activity in recent years. But the group says that's led to complacency by those who feel Hawaii doesn't have a gang problem. Mo Malanga greets people at Kanoa Park with a smile and a handshake. He asks them if they're staying out of trouble. He asks them if they need anything. Just love helping in general, you know, but that's, that's way different from what I, I was, you know, back then. Back then, as a gang member trying to maintain his street cred, Mo Malanga went after anyone who challenged him. For us, you know, we didn't see living past 18, so it was either me or them. Growing up in this low-income neighborhood, it was the only life he knew. This was known for gangs, drugs, violence, and so when I opened up my front door, you know, that's all I saw. These kids felt there was no hope. They saw their lives either ending up in prison or they saw themselves dead. Jane Tampon's heart is racing as she returns then. to the place where it all began. My brother's wife of gang was standing at this corner and they would wait for me and they knew I would come off the bus and they would, because they couldn't reach my brother, they would reach, they would get me and they would throw beer bottles and spit and call me names. A child of divorce, she discovered a sense of family in her brother's street gang. And that's how I became involved and a lot of his enemies became my enemies. Mo and Jane were members of rival gangs and saw their share of turf battles. There's a lot of drive-by shootings here. Uh, I had a friend who was shot, we were playing basketball, and he got shot uh, with a shotgun. And he lived, but, you know, in those days, retaliation is a must. The two finally walked away from the gang lifestyle thanks to Adult Friends for Youth, an agency that's credited with reducing gang violence by using long-term redirectional therapy. It's hard to say, to, you know, the best thing to do is to break them up because that's not, you can't break up a family. You know, the reality is to work with the groups as a whole entity and have the gangs look at, you know, moving from destructive to constructive behaviors. According to this 2010 gang assessment report, gang membership in Hawaii is becoming widespread among urban youth and adults. The report identified 129 street gangs involving about 500 members across the state. By and large, you know, the problem has been hidden from public view. And every now and again, there, you know, there's an incident and then people become aware that there's a gang problem and then it kind of dies off. People have short attention spans. Instead of trying to cover up the problem, Farrington High is addressing it head on. The school has identified more than 20 different gangs on campus. If we don't acknowledge that our students join gangs for certain reasons, whether it's at home or their lives, then there's gonna, it, it spills out into the communities. Farrington is not alone. Over at Waipahu, the kids have told us that, you know, more than half are somehow gang related. School officials watch for possible gang behavior, whether it's a hand gesture, the display of a colored rag, or a simple stare down. When they get challenged, they're not going to back down. So a lot of things that we're, what the administration is concerned about is the fighting, the welfare of every student on our campus. Former gang members Mo and Jane now work for Adult Friends for Youth, helping with mediation and other services. Mo went from tackling his rivals to tackling the books. He earned a master's degree in social work. With 110 percent, I go out to work and try to give you know, the type of uh, kids we work with, the same chance that was given to me. He says the intervention must continue since Honolulu has all the ingredients for a gang uprising. If you interview a gang kid from LA and you interview a gang kid, you know, the feelings, the emotions, everything is, is, is the same. You know, all these kids in Hawaii need is, is for one leader to say, oh, okay, you know, we'll, we'll, take it, we'll take it up a notch. Adult Friends for Youth says its behind-the-scenes work has been hampered by funding cuts. If society decides, well, you know, we can't spend money on these things anymore, then the end product is the problems are only going to get worse. Minasu Yumoto, Hawaii News Now.